guys it's the po boys today i will be giving you a little bit of a tutorial on how to get your first solo win in fortnite this is a good game of mine i wasn't necessarily intending on making it a video but after it was a pretty decent round i decided you know what i'll turn this into a video and help others learn how to get some solo wins but this is a double digit kill win and it's me landing over in pleasant park and it's just going to be me having a little bit of a um voiceover of me just telling what I'm doing and how I got there. So this I usually land over that over towards the doghouse and I checked out gas station, make sure there was no good guns or anything that I was gonna miss out on. There was a blue AR, but at that point I couldn't reach it. So I grabbed my slurp and notice how I don't really drink it immediately at the beginning because I don't want to just drink it before I find minis. And as it happens I do find a couple bit a couple of minis in the near future. I think it's right up here in this chest. But when I'm walking through here, I can hear some people coming up behind me. So I started grabbing the loot as much as I could and as quickly. And I was trying to get as much shield as I could, but they blew up the back of the wall and that guy got killed. This guy this guy he had no idea that I was right there because he was just going in for the kill of the other guy. It was kind of an easy kill. He didn't get any shots off because he had to reload because he was messing with the other guy. So I just, once again, went into my little corner and drank as much shield as I could. But if you hold on to the slurp, it could give you a lot more shield than you already have. Like right then, I held on to it and I ended up getting some. Right now, I'm just kind of scouting out right now to see where everybody is at and everything. Because I guarantee not those only those two people landed over in Pleasant. I come up, I see an explosion. I know there's two guys there. One guy who's the explodey. Another who's getting exploded. So I started shooting at one of them. I ended up having some pretty bad aim and not hitting any of them. I only hit him once for a little bit of shield. But I jump up in here. I noticed the entire floor is blown out because it looks like somebody got some C4s or grenades or something. So I'm still walking around though. And I have no idea where the guy is at right at this point. All I know is there's three people. I see some grenades on the ground so I pick them up thinking maybe I can get some 200 IQ grenade throws I don't think I end up getting any of them with it and the next thing I think about is high ground I try to get the high ground immediately I accidentally placed that because I was kind of spamming it slightly because I had no idea what was going on at this point I didn't know who was alive and who got out of that gunfight and how much health they had or what weapon they have because at this point I don't have a shotgun and shotguns win close range fights and unless I can get the right angle and the right amount of shots on a guy then my pistol's not really going to do that much. I was going to throw it through that window, but I couldn't really get the right angle. So I just moved over this angle over here at this little window just to throw a little nade in to maybe maybe smoke him out. And a matter of fact, I did. I could hear him about right here, I think. He runs out near the garage. He builds up. I think he's healing up, actually. I think, you know what? I'm just going to get the jump on him. He's going to have no idea what's going to go on. And I thought, you know what? I wasn't even trying to win this round. I ended up like triple headshotting him, I think, right there. And I ended up grabbing all of his loot, getting a hunting rifle, too. And I got a shotgun, finally. This point right here is when I started, I built up a little so I could scout. Just so I could have a little bit of a height advantage. So I could see where everybody's at. I ended up seeing that guy walking by. And I decided, you know what? I'll have an easy kill. That's not exactly how it how it turned out it was exactly an easy kill I actually had to work for this guy a good bit cuz I came up I was about to kill him one hunting rifle shot off it actually helps if you have one snipe shot and then flip real fast he ended up getting clamped between me and another guy I never found the other guy at this moment I'm just kinda going around messing around with this guy thinking he's gonna get killed easily by me I have no idea where he went though so I heard him on the inside I was running around I had no idea where this guy went exactly. I went over here. I could hear him like walking on wood, but I couldn't find him inside the house. I checked almost every room, I'm pretty sure. I think the only room I didn't check is the one like down one floor and to the left the second you walk in. I also checked there. He's not in there. He must have been like over over in like a corner or something and I didn't see him. But then I think, you know what? 
I'm going to build a base, get the high ground. I messed up on my jump one time, but after that, I turbo built it a little bit. I got up there, and I decided to wait him out because he has to come out sometime. And while I'm doing that, there's another guy, the same guy who was shooting at him earlier, starts lobbing nades over towards the house I'm on. I'm, at this point, I'm, I'm just kind of thinking, I'm waiting on this guy to throw some nades. Just so, again, so I could see where he's at. But I end up hearing the guy again, and I'm thinking... I can't see this guy, so I have no idea where he's at. I'm thinking maybe I can use the 3D peak, or not 3D peak, I can, I can use the building peak, see if I can find him. I end up seeing his dust a little bit while he's running, and I absolutely love it. It's helped me out a couple of times when I barely missed the guy. I saw him there. I decided to get the jump on him because he has no idea I'm right behind him. I never think he does ever find out until after I kill him. But I ended up getting all his loot and stuff. I got an upgraded AR. And uh, there's still the guy with the grenades way out there. And I still couldn't find him. So after, at this point right here, I got back up inside my little tower. I see the guy looting all the loot over there. I don't know if that's the same guy throwing grenades. But he, anyways, he came up there. I'm trying to find him. I can't really find him because he, he got saved by the tree. I see him stand still for a second. Take advantage of that. Hit him once with it. And I just laser him completely with my AR. It was like two hit kill after I got one shot off with a hunting rifle. I come up to loot his body because at that point I thought it was the guy with the grenades. But then I think I that was the real guy with the the grenades, I'm pretty sure. And I hate the, I, the one thing I don't like about the building is the crouching, how it's the rotate button because I've messed up so many times. This guy was playing smart by knocking me down because otherwise I would have had a nice hunting rifle shot on him. And it probably would have killed him. So this guy, I I kind of I noticed that he's just stand behind the tree and not building something and just shoot the tree down. He came out and finally started to build some, but that's when I noticed there was another guy who's coming up behind him, and he's getting clamped in between him. I decided to trade out my the blue tack instead of the pump because pump takes a lot of damage, but slow rate. The other one's decent amount, but quick rate. And I'm more of a get a couple quick shots off kind of guy. I do not know how I missed that hunting rifle shot, but I did. And the other guy decided to come off, take one shot at him. I didn't even notice that it wasn't completely off. This guy, I completely missed him, and I don't even know how. So I decided, I don't know why, I just whipped out my shotgun. Didn't really do much. It did like a 22 and then a 9 maybe. It didn't really take much. Same thing for this guy. It, it barely took any away. There's an 11, a 13, or 12 maybe, and then a 52. So after that, I kind of just thought, okay, I think I cleared everything out. So I grabbed all the stuff I needed at this point, and I um wanted to drink my minis before so I could make room for more, even though I really didn't need to. And I kind of, at this point, I was here on a supply drop. Like, I think it was like, it lands over in the soccer field is the area it's going at. And I decide maybe I should use it as some bait because tons of people love supply drops. Supply drops always have a gold weapon because I found it up here. It's coming down soccer field. So I decided I'll just wait up here for the people to come by if there are any more. And then I'll snipe them with my sniper or just spread them down with some AR bullets. Well, it turns out nobody, nobody decided to come. I was the only guy nearby, so I decided, you know what, I'm just going to jump out of here. The storm's moving in. In a second, I just decided, you know what, I'll go for it. So I went straight for the supply drop, and it turns out the problem with this, the gold weapons and stuff, is there's going to be gold, good gold weapons. So item management is the hard part. So I opened it up. I ended up getting a golden rocket launcher, which came in so clutch in this round. So if you guys have no idea what to drop, when you have a sniper, you have an AR and a shotgun, med kits and shields like I did, drop the med kits because shield comes first. You can apply shield whenever. Med kits you can only apply when you lose all your shield. So that that's what I'm saying. So that's why I keep shields over med kits because they're so much more valuable too. You can pop a couple minis and you can pop them in. I think they're one second each, maybe one to two seconds. So if they are two seconds at the most, then they're going to be about, um, it's going to be about four seconds and medkits are about 10. So I just start blasting this dude down with grenades because I had tons of grenades. I had like 18 shots left after this. 
I was just I was just able to, so I decided to. But I don't know how this guy survived for so long after I blasted him with all the nades. I decided to break it because he had the high ground. So he was had the advantage. He was a one shot after all that. Because I hit him once with a grenade. Not really too many times. I have no idea how he got away from all the other grenades I was launching. More minis. So I get to pick this up. And this guy up here. Uh, don't get me started on him. He was m one of my favorite players I got in a fight against. Because he was such a noob. He he was glitching slightly. Like he lagged a couple of times. And I lagged a couple of times. But other than that, it was just a funny fight. This guy had no idea where I was at. Like, this shot right here, I was going to hit him, but he built a wall just in time. Like, I nailed him right there, but he he just put up a wall just in time. So that is why you always build. Always build when you got shot at. But like I was saying, he was so confused. Like, I think he peeks me a couple of times. I don't know. I was thinking about pushing him, but he seemed like a newbie player. So I was thinking... You know what, I'll just, sh I'll just launch a grenade or two in there. Just see what happens. I shoot one over, I think, in a sec. I think I just did. So he thinks I'm on the other side. And I even shoot him from this side. And I have no idea why he still thinks I'm over there. But he's on looking the other side. Has no idea I'm back here. I want to get a snipe off, but I couldn't really get one. I even shot at him from the back, and he doesn't even care. He must have been a new player to Fortnite. He had no idea what was going on. He just sat by a trash can. I don't know what he was doing. I ended up killing him, and I finally got a way better sniper because I absolutely do not like the semi that I had. I got a gold heavy shotgun, which isn't really my favorite, but it's better than the tactical, I think. And at this point, I'm checking around for high ground, and the highest point I can find that's probably going to still be in the circle is that mountain right there. So what I do is I end up getting to where the stairs are going to be in the storm so that there's no, they can't use my stairs. So they have to build where I can hear them if they're coming up. I build up, but about, I think it's about right here is when I noticed that I can hear somebody else building with me. And they're already a little ways up there. So they, he was already on his way up. I decide pull out my AR a little bit, melt his shield a little bit, get a couple shots. This guy wasn't exactly a smart player either. He never built. He decided, you know what? I'm going to hide behind this rock. At this point, though, I had no idea where he was at. I didn't know he was going to be behind the rock. But I decided, shoot a couple grenades over there. You know, just damage him a little bit. But I accidentally kill him. And I was completely fine with killing him. I just had no idea he was there. I found the port of four. I didn't really need it at this point because I had 999 materials all the way around. And I didn't really need a port of fort So I thought, you know what? If someone tries taking this mountain, I'll just confuse him slightly. So I go grab the port of fort I just throw it at the bottom, you know, maybe to confuse him a little bit. It may confuse him. It may not. It was just worth a try. But this is key right here. Always build around yourself when you heal up unless you're popping mini super fast. Because like chug jugs, you have to, you really, really have to have some surroundings or you'll get sniped if someone sees you so i go back grab my gold scar at this point this there's like only three guys left so i'm thinking just keep the high ground i may not even make it to the next circle if i kill everybody so i just start sky basing slightly i'm not yeah so don't worry i'm not sky basing like i just used right there i just start flattening it out a little make a little bit more of a like mushroom shaped base so i see one guy he's He's way down there just building a tiny little base. He's probably a newer player. He has no idea what he's doing. So right here, I'm not sky basing. I'm just making the floor really big, small base, big top. That's kind of just how I build my forts. I don't know why. I just do it that way. But what turns out is I'm looking at this dude. He has that tiny little base. He seems like a noob. I wanted to snipe him, but too far away. I started shooting him. I see this guy ramping up on me. And I had the high ground. He, I think he thought I was about to shoot at him when I started shooting. So he chickened out because he thought I had the high ground. I was going to destroy him. This guy, honestly, he was so much of a pain. I couldn't find him the entire time. I was just walking around. No idea what he was doing. He just, I look back at the new replay feature some. And he's literally just camping out right below my fort. Just hiding, scared to death of when I was going to kill him. So I had grenade launcher, so I decided trick shot it a little bit off. Wasn't exactly, didn't go exactly where I wanted it to. Both times it just kind of went directly into the storm. That time it went directly in the port of fort, and he was over by there just chilling there for a little bit. But if you can, if you can see, there's like three seconds 
on this storm right now. It's about to move in. So my idea was I'm going to go up, place a couple floors just so he can't get up here real fast. And I'm going to place down my launch pad. I place down my launch pad. I jump on it. I look back because I have no idea where that guy's at. And I want to see where he's going to move. He ends up using his own launch pad. And I think, okay, high ground. Once again, high ground is key. High ground equals headshots. If you don't learn anything else from what I'm saying right here, high ground equals headshots. So I got up here, got the high ground. I start building my base. Nothing that fancy, just a normal one by one and then three stories tall. I think I only made it two stories this time. So I already know we got the noob over there and we got this guy who I'm pretty, I'm assuming he's a decent player because he almost tried ramping me up. So he has a little bit of confidence. I just laser this guy with some grenades. I didn't even intend, I didn't even intend to get him at all. I just intended to knock his fort down but as it turns out I eliminated him accidentally so now it's a 1v1 it's real easy all I have to do is blow up this guy I thought I was gonna get him with the nades I ended up shooting a couple more down that one ends up knocking most of his shield off I think and I ended up killing him for the win but that's all I wanna say thank you for watching this video please like and subscribe down below and comment on some other Fortnite ideas you want me to do remember guys keep God number one and peace out